Hey guys, how's it going? James here from Car Audio Etc. Um, another video today, quite a cool little car. That's why I'm filming it obviously. It's a 1966 Triumph Herald. Nice little orange convertible. I think this has been repainted. I don't know if this is a factory colour because it's, it's quite nice. It's still got scuffs on it and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just been garaged. Maybe it's been, you know, just kept or restored. It is cool. And it's convertible as well. Okay. So what we're thinking of doing is... Uh, I'm probably going to be installing a Pioneer MVH X385 in the glove box here. He wants it to be hidden away so that um, when he parks it up with the top down, it doesn't look like a target for theft. So just in here, it's just going to like I'm just going to mount it up in here somewhere so that it's out of the way. And then for speakers, initially he was talking four speakers, but at the moment I think we're down to two, um, just because of just because of price. But um, I'm hoping to talk him back up to four speakers. I'm looking at putting. It's a bit hard to see because of the light, but I'm looking at putting some Type R's down in the kick panels there. I'll build a custom panel for that side. And this side's already got a panel on it, but I'm going to take that off and replace it. And there's a speaker that's already in there that isn't being used, so that'll come out. I'll build a new panel and put a Type R in there. What we were thinking of doing for the back speakers is completely covering up this whole gap here with a panel and putting a Type R on there, and then obviously the same on the driver's side. But I think just because, um, you know, I was saying to him, it is obviously a custom installation, they take longer, cost a bit more. He didn't want to spend too much on it. Um, this is just like his, his nice sort of toy car. It's not like, uh, it's not, he doesn't want to spend a whole heap on it, which is fine. It's, it's totally up to him. So that's what we're doing to the vehicle. Um, I'm not going to film it, you know, too terribly in depth or like, you know, detailed. I'm probably just going to, you know, show you bits and pieces here and there of where I'm up to and how I've done it. Um, but yeah, my... my but yeah, as, as you guys know from the other videos, my camera battery, my camera battery isn't that great, so I'm just gonna you know show bits and pieces here and there, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, bit of progress. So this is the factory kick panel that was on the driver's side, and this is the panel I have now made up. This is out of just uh, sort of about nine mil MDF, so it's got a bit of strength to it. This is six. I decided to go for the nine just for a bit more strength for the Type R's because they are quite a beefy speaker. Um, so I've put a nice 45 degree, I think it's called a champer, around the outside of it just for looking a bit better. Hoping I might be able to get some vinyl for it to like, you know, vinyl it black or something like that. On the back, I've put these grooves down the back of it to allow it to bend a wee bit because it's actually a bit of a curve down the inside of the kick panel. So that's going to allow it to sort of bend to the shape a wee bit and the tie part will still hold it like semi flat in this area. It's going to be good. I've already checked that the speaker fits so that's good. Pretty much now I just need to copy this into another piece of wood and hopefully wrap it and whack it in. There we go guys, two baffles made up. Both of them with the ridgy things on. Got the, sp the screw holes for the speakers drilled, got the holes for the mounting of the baffle drilled. I haven't got the uh, holes drilled in the metal yet but I will deal with that later. Just gonna go across the road to our upholsterer and see if he's got any spare black Oh wait, no, I'm not going to use vinyl. I'm going to use carpet. I'm not using vinyl, I'm going to use carpet because the floor is black carpet. Like, and everything, like, everything else in the car is pretty much black carpet and also it'll hide the screws better and, like, marks and things like that hide up a lot better as well. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to carpet those. Mean. So I'm going to spray some glue on them, put some carpet on, and while it's drying I'm going to, you know, try and do something else. enough glue. There we go, there's one. Get that. Wait about five or ten seconds. Cool. Those things are just bluing and drying at the moment. Might put some weight on them or something. There we go, this is going to keep them down flat. Cool. Just discovered something totally cool about this orange car. It's a bit jukes a hazardy. Whoop. Down the front there are all air horns. There's a rocket switch in here. If I flick this or hold it. Oh. Woo! That's so cool. I love it, I 
love it. There we go guys, I've got two kick panels made up and carpeted, hole cut out. As you can see here, like you can see the screw holes and stuff. The way I do that is um, I just use my awl, poke it through from the back so I can locate it under the carpet, and then I just gently stick my soldering iron into the hole, and that uh, just melts a little section around where the hole is and makes it real easy to locate it for the screws. So I haven't put holes in the metal yet, but I'm gonna wait until the wires are all run, and I'm putting the kick panels in, and then I'll drill the holes, put the screws in, put the speakers in, and it'll be good. Grant's just working on the stereo loom. Okay, most of the wire running is done. Got the power wires at the ignition and stuff all done. Got the speaker wire coming out the cavity with some crimps on it. And now I'm gonna try and get this kick panel in and uh, secure it to the metal here. Just gonna have to drill some holes. Hopefully it all goes in okay. Let's see if I can set you guys up. I can set you up just like here or something. There we go. I'm gonna be able to see you. Okay, hopefully this goes in. Like this. There's not that gap there. And then this has to go in a bit further. There we go. Okay. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm getting a call. Right, okay. So, yep, it's all in there. Looks pretty good. Obviously, like, there's a big gap here, but the whole point of those slots in the back is for me to now be able to, I can like bend that up like that, which is good. So I'm gonna use the drill, put some holes in the middle and start sort of using the screws to torque it down. It'll be good. Okay, hopefully this works. Start with, start at the top, the closest one, so that, cause it's gonna be the most accurate. Maybe I'll just make some marks for now or something. So yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm just, holding it as tight as I can and using the drill to make some marks on the metal and then I'll get this back out and drill it properly. <coughs> Hopefully those all line up with uh, <laughs> with the screws. We shall find out. Get this one back in. That's in. Now let's get some screws. Let's see. I'm going to get all of them just touching their holes. Just touching. Oh, there goes the camera. Okay, now I just gotta power these down a bit. There we go, I think that looks pretty fucking mean. There we go, guys, that completely pulled that gap that was behind there down. Carpet is. Carp now there's just a pocket between the carpet and the thing, though, but I think, I don't know why that is. It's just loose carpet. It's just. The, the carpet is just glued on, so there's really not much you can do about that gap. But now I can put the speaker in. Boom! Woffer time. There we go guys, I got one in. Nice! Not sure how it's gonna sound yet, but looks pretty good. See, so yeah, this is what I was talking about, like black carpet everywhere, black carpet kick panels, and a nice big woofer there. And it's up out of the way of the accelerator as well, so we know it's not gonna get hit by that or anything like that. I'm quite happy. You happy, Grant? Peel off the uh, nice shiny sticky stick. Come on. Oh, peel. Pretty decent. Follows the curve. See the curve there, guys? Mean. Well, while I'm here, might as well connect the powers up and then I'll be ready to do the one over on your side once you're done with the stereo. Okay. Left one in, final touch. Just gotta get this thing off. There we go. That looks good. I don't really like this random bit of flappy carpet. I think I might chop that off. Oh, wait, it's meant to be folded. That's what it is. Yep, cool. That's meant to be folded like that. Cool beans. That's the left one. And there's the right one. Sweet! Jesus. Man. Ow! Everything's loose in this car. Cool. Let's have a listen. By the way, the stereo looks good. Oh, wait. I think we need probably something a bit more funky. Oh, there's something basic.
sound quality wise, it um, sounds mint, it's clear, crisp, there's good treble, good, good mid, really, really, really good mid bass, very little uh, sub bass, but obviously that's because you're talking about two six inch speakers in quite, con quite constrictive cavities, not much air around them, so very little sub bass. I'm thinking maybe with two more speakers in the back here, that kind of pressure from the rear combined with the front would allow that to come through a wee bit more because um, at the moment all that bass is sort of coming towards me and then just going straight past me and probably going out the, out the plastic window. But if we had the speakers behind as well, we might get more of a, a bit more SPL where it's like, you know, the sound pressurizes into a cavity, but it is a convertible. Sounds good, sounds good. Something else we did is we got this USB cable here so that you can just like plug into the USB input and then he's got a female USB socket down here now so he can just plug his phone in there or his memory stick or whatever. Um, unfortunately though this doesn't close with the, with the cable there. This stereo is as far back as it can possibly go and it's a mechless one so it's actually shallower than normal. If it was a stereo that had a CD player as well, it would be even further forward. So there's not much we can do about that. Um, he may have to get like a little right angle adapter or something like that. I mean, it, it comes like you can actually like get it to close all the way up, and it's not too and like it's oh, focus, focus. There we go. So yeah, you can get this to like close all the way up, flush. But um, unfortunately, this little latch thing that is supposed to, it's like loose. There's not nothing we can do about it because of the way it's uh, secured. So this doesn't even, even when this is off, oops, even when we've got that hanging down there, this closes but it, it doesn't like latch. So there's nothing we can do about that. Possibly what we could do is like scallop out a piece of wood here but I think we'll leave that up to him since it's, it's his car and it's quite nice. So he could like file that down so that this isn't in the way. But it's good. All in all, worked out really well. I'm, I'm stoked. I hope he's stoked as well. And, we, and I'm quite happy that we also managed to, oh come on focus, the autofocus on this camera is terrible guys, I need a new one. We also managed to get it um, on accessory as well, so this car has like, so straight up and down is like key out, and then it's got left for accessory, and then right is ignition. So it's good because it works both ways. Cool! Right, I've sat in here long enough. Okay, there we go. You guys are probably vibrating. There we go, I think we're in reverse. Yep. Okay, well, sorry about the vibrations, guys. I just got you on the dash. Um, thanks for, for watching this video. I've enjoyed making it. It's been a cool little car to work on, a fun little project. Hopefully, he's gonna come back for rear speakers. Um, the, again, the only reason we didn't do them is, and we probably wouldn't have had time to now anyway, is just because he didn't want to spend too much on it, which is fine. There we go, there we go. She's rattly. Come on, there we go, there's reverse. Reverse is a bit hard to find, but we'll get there in the end. Oh, we're gonna stall. Ah, we're out. Oh. He's got a racing steering wheel in here and no power steering, so it's quite hard to maneuver. Go, now we're almost in line. Okay, one more toot for fun. I love it, I love it. Alrighty. Yeah, as I was saying before guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If there was uh, something you particularly liked about the video, or if you want to see me do more stuff like this, as always, you know, leave me questions, drop me comments, I'm, I don't mind answering. And also, I've been really interested to um, know, because YouTube kind of tells you, but I'm not that good at reading the analytics of it, um, how many of you guys are like, you know, repeat subscribers that come back, you know, every video just to just to see the video Regardless of what it's about. I'm really interested to know So if you guys are like, you know, an avid fan or a returning subscriber like every single time Let me know in the comments because I'd really like to, you know, know who you guys are and maybe shout you out or something like that Yeah, so thanks for watching this video guys, and I'll catch you in the next one Also, a quick teaser, I may or may not be, I'm, I may have a new vehicle to work on sometime soon that I can put a lot of stuff in. Quick teaser. Hopefully I'm going to do something with it this weekend, not sure. Lots of videos for that, so keep an eye out.